what's up guys so i want to explain the new link summoning and let you guys know how to do it and i'll be showing examples on your screen to guide you through this process as easy as, as possible so let's talk about it so first off to link summon there are two ways you can either send monsters to the graveyard from your hand equal to the number of link they have also the other way to summon you can link summon something from the extra deck by sending the same number of monsters that meet the material requirements from the field to the graveyard so let's say the link monster you need for the code is three so you send three uh, effect monsters from your hand to the grave in order to special summon him out or you can send three monsters from the field to the grave to uh, link summon basically so again in code talkers case he needs three so you send three link monsters to the field to the grave to bring him out into the link zone or you can send three monsters from your hand to special summon him. Now let's dive into the link card itself. As you can see here from Cold Talker, these arrows are connected or linked to the monsters in monster zones. So in Cold Talker's case, I'll show an image on your screen. He's connected to monsters that are diagonal from his zone. He is also linked to the monster that is in your opponent's monster zone that's right in front of him. So what does this do? Depending on the card, it, it's, its effect varies on the link monster's link to it. So let's read his effect. So Cold Talker's effect is this card gains 500 attack for each monster that's linked to it. So again, if there's three monsters that's linked to it, he's instantly gaining 500 attack for each so that's a total of 1500 attack which is crazy and his second effect is which is a good effect when an opponent's card effect that targets a card you control is activated you contribute one of your monsters linked to this card to negate the activation so the only thing i don't like about this card is the fact that you can't tribute your opponent's monster that is linked to this card in order to negate the activation you can only tribute your own monsters which is okay i guess you still have have two negations on the board so link monsters themselves have no defense they also cannot switch their battle positions also um, if you look at the new field you see there's obviously two new link monster zones you can obviously put link monsters there however these zones are taken up one at a time so if you manage to link summon first then your opponent you control that link zone and if you control the second one as well, you control both link zones, then your opponent cannot link summon at all. They just have to deal with it. So that's the thing that I feel it's kind of have potential to be a little bit broken. But if you look at um, the coder's card uh, art again, you can see that there are two links that are left and right, which means that you are able to link to other link monsters. I know it's pretty confusing, however, it's very simple once you understand it. But later on in other videos, I will be talking about if this has the potential to be absolutely broken, worse than pendulums, or is it uh, a little bit better than pendulums? Is it not broken? Is it balanced? Is it fair? I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Deuces.